Hey there, it's Robin from Free Events, and in this walkthrough video, I'm going to show you how to add a date selection option to your WooCommerce products using Free Events and the Free Events Bookings extension. This can be used if you have a venue that allows people to book online for a specific date. So to get started, you can go to demos.freeevents.com and navigate to the aquarium entry and you can try this out for yourself. But we're going to choose a ticket type, we're going to specify a date, and then we're going to go through the checkout process just so we have a full understanding of how this all works. So we're going to proceed to the cart. Over here, please note that it says it's an all day entry. And so this is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the 8th of November, 2023. Proceed to checkout and we'll just copy these details over there and place our order. And then as soon as the order is completed, we should receive a ticket email. And there it is. So this is a standard uh, Foo Events ticket email template. It has basic information about your event and the actual ticket information, which includes a QR code that can be scanned at the event using the Foo Events check-in zap. Okay, so how did this all work? Uh, if we edit the product, you'll note it's pretty much a standard WooCommerce product with added Foo Events functionality, which you'll see in the data, the product data tabs on the bottom left here. This is a variable product. We created standard WooCommerce variations to offer the different ticket types. And all that's really important to note here is that they need to be downloadable and virtual so that the tickets can automatically be sent when the order is completed. Next, we'll need to go to the event settings where we've selected this as an event and we've selected the bookable option. And then if you scroll down, you just need to make sure that the booking selection order is slot to date. If you go to booking settings, if you want to have multiple slots, you can have them uh, and it'll simply display two drop downs as it's displayed here. So for each date that's available, there'll be multiple drop downs uh, and multiple options for the slots. However, if you want them, if you only want to display dates, all you need to do is create a single slot where you specify a label that displays on the front end. So it could be an all day pass, all day entry, all the start and, and closing times. And make sure you don't choose a time because it's, it's not necessary in this context. And then within that, you can add all the dates that you'd like to display in that drop down. So these are all the dates that your venue is open. And then uh, hit save once you've done that. And then you can also review the ticket settings as needed. For the most part, we're going with uh, stock standard options. We're emailing the tickets to the customers, of course. We're sending the tickets to the purchaser. You can also send them directly to individual attendees. Um, and then we're displaying most of the information on the ticket that's needed. Okay, so once you've done all of that, you can also add a short code at the top here. It's the Few Events Calendar short code. This displays the calendar beneath the product in the product description tag. And you can use this post option here where you specify the ID of the product and that'll make it that the calendar only displays on the specific dates for this product. Okay, and let's go back to the front end. So we have a number of other demos that are also set up to only use a single drop-down option. You can view those by clicking the All tab and then choose the single booking drop-down filter on the right here. And it'll show you a few other examples such as the museum booking, theme park, and then a generic example as well. So super easy to set up a single drop-down that displays uh, bookable dates for your customers. All you need to do is create a single slot with the dates below it and it'll automatically merge the two drop downs into a single drop down. If you have any questions, please head over to the help center and get in touch and our team will gladly assist. Thanks for watching.